guys this is our lesson on Napoleon Bonaparte what you should have in front of you right now is a video worksheet that says Napoleon Bonaparte at the top and there are blanks to fill in as you're watching the video uh, this shouldn't be too difficult for you the uh, words are right there on the screen for you I'm going to read them uh, just like I uh, would do in class and uh, you can fill in the blanks as I'm reading them Feel free to pause the video if you need to, to make sure that you get all the blanks, um, but you wanna make sure that you complete this worksheet. So if you need to go back afterwards uh, and fill in blanks or pause along the way, as I mentioned, uh, you can do that to make sure the blanks are filled in. And then there's a worksheet uh, to complete after the video called uh, Napoleon's Wars. So you'll need to complete that as well. So let's talk about Napoleon Bonaparte. During the revolution in France, one general in particular began to outshine all the others. This general was a 26 year old by the name of Napoleon Bonaparte. Napoleon's skillful leadership helped to crush rebellions within France and also greatly expand the territories of France, including a surprising victory over the more powerful Austrian army. Now, at this time, if you haven't filled in all the blanks yet on this uh, slide, uh, feel free to pause the video to make sure that you get all the blanks. Um, I'm going to go ahead and continue. You can come back. If you pause, just come back and then continue the video. In October of 1799, Napoleon returned to Paris after having been in Egypt with his armies to take part in a coup d'etat or an overflow, overthrow of the government. In 1804, Napoleon named himself as Emperor of France and had himself anointed as such by the Pope. Once again, you can pause the video here if you need to, uh, to complete the blanks before you come back and continue. Napoleon's Empire. Napoleon was a masterful ruler. He established a number of reforms that brought peace and stability back to France. He also rewrote the old French feudal laws, which were confusing, creating a new Napoleonic code of laws that were much clearer. Many of these laws remain in France to this day. After, be, uh, after bringing economic prosperity and peace to France, Napoleon set out to conquer the remainder of Europe. As a skillful general, he was able to conquer significant tracts of land. By 1812, Napoleon controlled most of Europe, either directly or indirectly. Once again, this is a good place to pause your video if you still need to complete the blanks for this uh, slide in the presentation, um, and then come back and continue the video. Napoleon's empire defeated. The nations that had been conquered by Napoleon resented being ruled by France. They did not like paying taxes to France, nor did they appreciate having to send their sons to fight as soldiers in the conquests that Napoleon was pursuing. One by one, these nations rebelled, beginning with Spain. By March of 1814, Napoleon had been defeated and forced to step down as the Emperor of France, a member of the royal family and brother of King Louis XVI was placed on the throne of France. Once again, pause the video here if you need to, to complete the blanks, and then come back and continue the video. A year later, in 1815, Napoleon returned to Paris and called for his soldiers to return to him. He was still popular among the people who had enjoyed their quick rise to power under his rule. For a hundred days, Napoleon again ruled France. Monarchs and other European nations feared that Napoleon would again seek to control them. In a decisive battle at Waterloo, France, Napoleon was defeated in June of 1815 and was forced into exile on the island of St. Helena, where he died in 1821. Once again, be, uh, feel free to pause the video or go back in the video uh, to make sure that you get all the blanks for the video worksheet that you should have in front of you, um, that you should pretty much be completed with. And then there's also a uh, worksheet 
uh, Napoleon's Wars that you'll need to complete that also came with this video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to email me or have a parent or guardian email me, jlawton at ndyfs.org.